Well, after half a century as the Coleman Coliseum at the University of Alabama passed its prime. Well, the answer is maybe, but the university is considering renovating Coleman Coliseum or possibly building a new facility. Yeah, CBS 42 News reporter Tim Reed has reaction tonight from campus and also takes a look at what this could mean for the athletics programs. Coleman Coliseum turned 50 years old this year. The facility has served the university well, but officials here on campus believe it's time to make some improvements. Coleman Coliseum is home to both the Alabama gymnastics team and the basketball program. Athletics director Greg Byrne says the university has hired a firm to look at the future of the aging arena to see what can be done to upgrade the building. Anything to move our university forward is what's important to us. And I think that the administration has an, a really sound plan with what's going to be best for the university. Dana Duckworth is the head coach for the gymnastics program. She agrees with the plan to upgrade the Coliseum. This Saturday, her team is hosting the NCAA Tuscaloosa Gymnastics Regional Championship. But I absolutely know this. It's going to be better than what we have now, which means we're moving forward. And that's the most exciting part. Some Alabama students tell CBS 42 it's time the older facility gets a facelift. As a university as a whole, we're very good at keeping up with everyone, even being ahead of everyone. And since it's been like 50 years, I'm kind of surprised they haven't actually tackled that yet. Over the years, Coleman Coliseum has hosted concerts with celebrities like the king himself, Elvis Presley. Former President Ronald Reagan also visited in the early 80s. They hosted all kinds of concerts and such at Coleman Coliseum, and uh, that was way back when. So it's got a lot of history, a lot of tradition, and a lot of culture here. The last major renovation to Coleman Coliseum happened 13 years ago. In Tuscaloosa, Tim Reed, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on. Tim, thanks for that story.